not heard, Wake Forest University's baseball team is ranked number one in the country. And this Friday, the Demon Deacons start their road to Omaha right here in Winston-Salem. Very, very exciting. Joining us live now is Craig Zakaruski. He is the Senior Associate Athletic Director at Wake Forest University and a Sports Administrator for Baseball. Craig, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thanks for having me on. Really appreciate the opportunity. Well, congratulations. I mean, the history that Wake Forest is making after receiving oh, yeah. this ranking is huge. Talk about the potential history, too, if they win it all. Yeah, what, what, what I want to start out with is, you know, we're, we're coming off a, a wonderful week here in Deektown. The, um, you know, women's golf program just won the national championship last week. Um, right. Their first in program history and uh, our 10th overall national championship. So they, you know, they're setting a high bar for us here. Um, but as far as baseball goes, you know, super excited. Uh, we do have one uh, college world series championship and that was back in 1955. Um, so, you know, so, so several years ago. And uh, again, being the national number one overall seed this year is a, is a great accomplishment. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to, uh, to getting started and getting the, getting the championship underway here on Friday. You know, it, Craig, it's great to see how Wake Forest sports has really made leaps and bounds mm -hmm. uh, just as a general, you know, university sports program over the years. You mentioned the golf, uh, the, the men's soccer team has done very, very well. The football program has done very well in ACC play uh, at last season Had a really good run there for a while. But with regard to the baseball team, why do you think they've been so successful this season? I think I think this year is just you know we're, we're kind of hitting on all cylinders. You know we obviously we have great leadership from uh, from Coach Tom Walter, uh, ACC Coach of the Year, and then uh, really just we have an experienced group. You know we're led by a, a couple seniors and, and several juniors who have been who have been through it and played you know a lot of innings over their over their careers here, and just really good balance. Obviously our you know our pitching staff, um, our, our three weekend starters, all were first team all ACC. We lead the country with the lowest ERA. Um, and again, we just have, and we have some good, good hitters as well. So, you know, Brock Wilkin, um, Nick Kurtz, you know, up and down the lineup, you know, we can, you know, we can rake, we call ourselves Wake Forest, rake Forest at times. And just again, a good, a really good balance of, uh, of pitching and hitting, uh, we kind of play, you know, good, good defense as well. And then lastly, I'll just say like our, our team culture, um, you know, the, the guys really, really love one another and really love playing for one another and, and, and coaching the staff, let them, let them be themselves. And, you know, they play the game the right way. They play it, they play it, they play a fun brand of baseball. And again, you can see the joy that they have out on the field when they're playing together. Mm -hmm. That is important. So let's talk about the benefit of having home advantage for the first round of regionals. Yeah, a, a, hu a huge advantage to play at home. Um, we, we were 29 and three at David F. Couch Ballpark this year. So again, look to keep, you know, we played really well at home, obviously, uh, kind of the comforts of, you know, we, we know the surroundings, obviously. And again, we've just had wonderful fan support uh, this year for, for, for this program. It seemed like every weekend we hosted, you know, a, a weekend series this year, we broke the attendance record. Um, you know, people just kept coming out and coming out and supporting us and our, our, our team really feeds off that energy. So being able to be the number one overall seed and, and host a, a regional here in Winston-Salem, um, again, a big accomplishment, and we're super excited to, to hit the field and start playing tomorrow. You know, Craig, I understand this is a, a bit of a tough ticket to get. I want you to talk about that, but how in other ways can the community support the team? Yeah, so we, 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 we did sell out um, of, of the regional, again, which, we're, which, which we're really excited about. And again, we really kind of sold out uh, very quickly. So, you know, our, our games will, will be sold out. We'll have some standing room only uh, people there, but we're expecting crowds over 3,500. Um, our games will be, you know, streamed. Our, our first game on Friday is, is will be on ESPN+. Plus. And then we will have, you know, the, the rest of the, the weekend games will be broadcast in some fashion as well. Um, so, again, the, the, the community has really embraced this program. Um, you know, we really appreciate all the support uh, that Deacon Nation has provided this team. And like I said, our team really feeds off of that. So if you're coming to the couch, if you have a ticket, you know, be loud, cheer us on. And, and, and again, we hope to we hope to uh, bring home some victories this weekend. Yeah, right, good luck us. to the Deeks mm -hmm. for sure. Craig, thank you for your time this morning and everyone at home. You can watch the Deeks face off against George Mason University.